Hi friends, welcome back. It's Laura with Treasure on Paper and today we're starting a brand new glue book and just because I don't have any other name, it's going to be called the Three Ring Binder Glue Book <laughs> until maybe we can find a better name for it. So I literally just put this in an old photo album that I had. It's even bent a little bit. I used my Posca marker here to write up the title. <laughs> Okay, so what I have done is I have taken apart some of those Florida pamphlets and magazines that I got from the Welcome Center. And I have taken each one. I have added masking tape on both sides of the hole punch edge. Just stuck it in there. So the whole purpose of this is so that if what happened to my Pink Lady glue book, she was starting to fall apart pretty bad. So. I also want it to sit nicely on the shelf. So I thought this could work. All right, guys, let's get into this. I'm so excited.
All right, guys, it is time to put our pages into our binder. Let's do it. Okay, I had so much fun. This is a great way to work on your pages and have the freedom and mobility to hold your paper and cut around it, flip it over, etc. So this was the first page that I did, but I hole punched it on the wrong side. This is technically our first page. And of course we have our girl here with an $8 bill and a little pocket sort of hidden there. I love the way this one turned out. And of course, I'm sure I'll come back and add some other things. This was the second one. I love this cat. He's thinking about those birds so much. Let's put this in our book. And of course, I love this handle. Next up is this groovy thing that I, you know, I used from that, uh, the Dollar Tree banner. And I'll add other details to this. This is not complete, but I like how you can sort of see the people in the background. And we have this fun detail here with the ribbon. Oh my goodness, yes. All right, the next page was this. This is a postcard from Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. And this is the Dudley Do-Rights Falls. And you get soaking wet on that ride. And I thought using the umbrella here was a perfect thing to add there. I love it. So much fun, oh my goodness. The free coasters sticker, love this chimpanzee astronaut holding looking at the fish and of course the whale is amazing all right let's put it in there i love it all right then i used this small love set i got from the dollar tree and i love this background with the map i used the washi tape here oh my goodness one of my favorite washi tapes this really pretty rose I thought looked nice here with the gumballs and this zigzag belt um, border material here. And I love the sunset in the background. The page is so groovy with the giant eyeballs. I put some insects. We have a silver shoe. 
and the I love this black uh, rose patterned washi tape, another sunset, a Chiquita banana sticker, a valentine from the Dollar Tree. You're out of this world. This fun Aloha dude here from my local advertisement and a iron-on patch. There's something about dice. I don't know. I love it. And then down here in the bottom I used a, a Cracker Jack prize and in it is a Cracker Jack sticker but I thought let's just use that as a tip in. That's fun. Another piece of that felt in my favorite color pink. I thought this was a fun page and so let's add it in there. Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying. All right, next up we have this this adorable layout here with this background is something that my son did, my youngest son did in preschool and I've had this for a long time. <laughs> I don't get rid of things. Um, thankfully, because now I have ephemera. Uh, we have this awesome peppermint patty duh. from Peanuts and I enjoyed using this packaging from the glue. This was fun. And then sticker relief on top of some uh, folded sheets from a magazine. And then I just left this little section open because it has his name here. I love this. This is so groovy. You guys, I'm so excited because this page, I don't know if you noticed, but it's from a game, Candyland. And we have all the markers there. So I put the washi tape around here so I would have a nice backdrop and on the top I made a pocket and then I glued this section down and then we have the instruction sheet you can put that in there I have the special winning prizes there these are the card mark uh, cards that you would collect to tell you how many places to go I mean, it's fun, it's nostalgic that you could add one of your favorite games in your glue book. This is, again, the Dollar Tree. So, you know, go down the kids aisle, go check and see what you could put in your glue book. And I just used packing tape. If you don't have a laminator, I used packing tape, clear packing tape. I just pulled it out, laid it down, put this on top, put another piece on top. And then I went over each little edge you know what I mean? To make it nice and secure. And then the fun part is you open this up and if I wanted to, I could play the game. I don't know if the whole thing will be on here. Can you see the whole thing? Anyway, that is super fun, very colorful and a throwback, a little nostalgia. So, all right, let's put it in the book. All right, the last two pages, I enjoyed using this popcorn bag. I got these uh, at the Dollar Tree and we have this unicorn sticker I had in my Jeep back in the day and I knew I would use it for something else. So I saved it and it's been in my stash. Oh my gosh. So here we go, love this little kid. He is having dreams of all this candy and this is just a I just wanted a simple image back here that, you know, isn't too eye-catching and it's sort of quiet over here because we have a lot going on. This is from the lid of a pizza box, Domino's pizza box, and a little soda thing there. And then what's inside our bag? A medium size love. It's just cardboard. I could put it onto a a nice uh, cardstock piece of paper. I just, I haven't done that yet. We, I probably will. Might as well, you know. Love that. I could just leave it just like that. Okay, the last page. Ready? It is the funny pages and some lunch. And up here, I put the, the lock horns because my dad loves this funny from the Sunday comics, too hilarious. I mean, countless amount of laughter that I would, uh, my mom, my dad would read these to my mom and he would crack up laughing. And we have, uh, I think this BC comic 
and I left a little bit of the background page in there and another comic and I put this really nice looking hamburger, cheeseburger. This guy here, now he has a hole in his head, but it doesn't matter. It's necessary. We got a nice pickle on top and then over here we have some, oh wow, that looks really good. This pretty watermelon with a little bit of washi tape there and on top, can you dig it? I'm having a blast in this and of course, I three hole punched it again after I uh, got my tip in, in and it went just fine. Look at that. Let's close that up. I'm loving this. Easy. Let me know in the comments what your favorite page or element was. And also, have you used or are you considering um, creating a three ring binder glue book? Because I highly recommend it. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. And listen, if you have not subscribed yet, or maybe you'd like to hit the like button for me, I would really appreciate it. And you're helping me grow my channel. Thank you so very much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Got my heart upon my sleeve. Can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl?